Jonathan Walton Young Achievers Foundation. I've uh, been founded now since 2008. Um, and we support uh, local young people. Uh, 19 different youth organisations, that's the way that we, we support it. Uh, each year we allocate a sum of money to each of those organisations. They run their own selection process uh, and young people apply essentially for scholarships and, and bursaries to help them to um, do whatever it is that they want to do. Uh, it might be a swimming teacher course, it might be a, a new all-terrain buggy for somebody who's, uh, who's disabled. Um, it's, it's wide. We were set up, I say, uh, 2008, uh, following the uh, death of their son, Lieutenant John Thornton of the Royal Marines, who was killed in action in Afghanistan uh, at the age of 22. Uh, uh, so at least something good has come out of something that's pretty bad. Yeah. One of the fundraising events that, that seemed to suit, if you like, our, our, our ethos, really, getting out in the outdoors, doing things, and the sort of thing that John would have would have loved to have done. If he'd, he'd been around, he'd have done it, I can assure you on that one. Probably walking backwards or something, but uh, he, he'd have done it, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we uh, we, had, we had great help from uh, from J.K. Hayes Training Centre, and uh, it was nice to meet uh, the people from My Time Carers. Uh, it, it seemed to work extremely well, it really did. Uh, well, essentially, we, we got just over a thousand pounds for uh, in, in sponsorship from Coastal Tab, uh, which is a, a magnificent amount uh, of uh, of money that uh, you know we really need. It would have helped us to present a number of awards to young people. Uh, there were two young people from Swim Bournemouth who, because of the pandemic. Uh, their, their parents had fallen on slightly hard times, I assume. Um, we've managed to support their swimming course for, for a year. Uh, there was a, a, a forest school out uh, near Fontmel Magma, and uh, we have provided some equipment for them so that they can get children out there to learn all about the outdoors. And there's a young man from uh, a learning centre in Christchurch, actually, who has got a passion for boxing. Uh, and we're, we're paying for equipment and, and training lessons or training courses uh, for him. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the sort of thing that we, we've been able to do with, with that thousand pounds. Uh, without it, those people, young people, who've got a need, got a desire, probably would not have been able to do it. So. Working with my time, well, we've, we've come across um, uh, their, their fundraiser on, on a number of occasions before and it was absolutely no problem, it's a joy in actual fact and we've managed to set up a little bit of a relationship where we've been able to let them have some spare toys and things that we'd, we'd have donated to us so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's, it's working quite nicely yeah yeah yeah, a huge thank you to, to Kieran and all at J.K. Hayes Training Centre for putting the, the Coastal Tab on. It's been uh, an absolute pleasure working with you and I hope we can continue this for a long time in the future. So thanks to, to you and all the uh, all the people who were involved in setting the, uh, the event up. Brilliant. Yes, yeah, a massive thank you to all the walkers and the, 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 the people who donated funds to them as well. Uh, it, it, because that's what it's all about, really. Yeah, uh, appreciate it. Yeah. It's made a heck of a difference, it really has.